Introduction to Connected Speech. Pronunciation is the foundation of good speech. However, even if we said all words correctly, our speech would still be difficult to understand if we don't learn the rhythm of English. Rhythm means a regular pattern that arises in a long sequence of sound. The smallest unit in a long sequence of sound is called the beat. To express it differently, a beat is the steady pulse that we feel in the tune, like a clock's tick, 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 or the beating of the heart, lub-dub, lub-dub, lub-dub. Syllable-timed rhythm versus stress-timed rhythm. In a language, syllables can be viewed as beats. Some languages exhibit regularity in the timing of successive syllables. Korean, for example, is a syllable-timed language, meaning that each syllable occurs at a regular interval. English, on the other hand, is viewed as a stress-timed language, meaning that the stressed syllables occur at a regular interval. That is, the rhythm of English is created when a syllable in a certain spot in a phrase is stressed and the rest are unstressed, and when this pattern is repeated. The reason that English is a stress-timed language is probably that English words have intrinsic stress. That is, to say English words correctly, we need to know which syllable of the word is stressed. Placing the stress incorrectly means saying the word incorrectly. When English words are said in a sequence, the human proclivity for a regular pattern must have forced stressed syllables of words to occur at a regular interval. Korean words, by contrast, do not have intrinsic stress. So, to say Korean words correctly, we need to say words without stressing any syllable. An American who learned Korean as a non-child has a non-Korean accent due to her habit from the English language. The urge to stress some syllables when no stress is needed. The situation is the other way around for a Korean learner of English. The impetus to speak each syllable on a regular beat. Learning the rhythm of English is not unlike learning how to sing, since it includes some of the following. Pausing between phrases, connecting sounds within a phrase, lengthening and shortening of vowel sounds, rising and falling of sounds, strengthening and weakening of sounds, and articulating some words while muffling some other words. We need to learn all these aspects, and much more, to be in rhythm when speaking English.